It's Tan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. A viewer has asked me a question relating to Yagi antennas. What is a compensator, he asks. He read about uh, compensators, uh, but, he, but it's very difficult when you even when you browse the internet to find out exactly what a compensator is in a Yagi antenna and what it's for. Uh, it's, it's really very interesting. It's a mechanical device. A, a torque compensator is a mechanical device usually attached to the boom at some point and what I'm showing you here is an illustration of a three element Yagi antenna with typical dimensions included uh, F sub zero or F naught is the frequency in megahertz. These are the driven element lengths in feet, driven element, driven element, no, uh, DE is the driven element length in feet. D is the director element in feet and R is the length of the reflector element in feet from end to end. Now notice that these are different lengths. Oftentimes uh, the spacing between the elements is different. Here the spacing between the driven element and the director is different from the spacing between the driven element and the reflector. Ideally, the supporting ma uh, mast that holds up the antenna, this is a top view, the supporting mast should be located along the boom at such a point that it's at the center of gravity of the antenna so that there is no lateral pressure at this joint. But nevertheless, when the wind blows against this antenna, particularly if it blows at an angle, not straight head on or not straight from the side, but usually at an angle, and if it's a strong gusty wind in particular, this uh, antenna will tend to want to rotate and point in a different direction. Even uh, suppose you have it pointed east, as this would imply here, if east is to the right, north is upwards, south is downwards, west is towards the left. Again a top view of a Yagi antenna with general dimensions included. Suppose we get a wind out of the southwest like that. It's going to put a force on this antenna that's going to be different in different parts of the antenna and more often than not even if you locate the supporting mast at the center of gravity of the antenna this wind is going to cause the antenna to want to rotate. It's going to put therefore pressure on the rotator because the supporting mast uh, which goes to the rotator is going to want to try to turn in a different direction and if that force is sufficiently strong the rotator can actually break. Well a compensator is a device and I'm not sure exactly how the construction of a compensator is and if any of you viewers have any any further idea about, about this I would greatly welcome any comments you may make so I'm going to leave comments open. I'm sure other viewers would also appreciate uh, your input if you have any technical information or any reference sources that I uh, might look at for detailed information. But the viewer asked what is a compensator in a Yagi antenna and I'd never heard of such a thing and neither had he. And when I tried to look for it and search for it on using Google and uh, with various word combinations I, I really didn't come up with much that told me anything. So I called the ARRL's technical information service and was 
transferred to the lab, the ARRL lab. Now, I worked there for a couple of years in the 1970s, so I know the place headquarters. I've been a continuous member of that organization for 52 plus years. In any case, the laboratory, I believe the director of the laboratory uh, staff, told me that a torque compensator is a usually a metal plate or sometimes a dummy element, an additional element that you can add to the antenna made out of fiberglass instead of metal so it will not actually do anything electrically uh, with respect to the antenna but it will produce wind load and if you put that dummy element in just the right place it will help to reduce to minimize the torque on that supporting mast and therefore the torque on the rotator when the wind blows and perhaps prevent the rotator from breaking or at least minimize the stress on the rotator. Of course I've seen winds so strong that not only would the rotator be broken but the antenna would be blown away hundreds of miles away the rotator and tower would be lying on the ground and you if you were lucky would be able to get up in the morning and still say that you were all in one piece I've been in a hurricane like that its name was Andrew August 24 1992 in Homestead Florida wind gusting to 200 mile an hour now that no Torque compensator is going to compensate for that. I think the better way to compensate for a hurricane like that is to never build your Yagi antenna in a location like that in the first place. But that, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the ham radio world, is basically what a torque compensator is for. Sometimes called a compensator, sometimes called a boom compensator or a Yagi compensator. It minimizes the tendency of the antenna to want to rotate in a gusty wind and thereby minimizes the stress on the rotator. Hope that helps. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which, in my native fist, shall ever after translate to da 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 da.